For one week only, Sao Paulo is the place to be. Technology addicts from across South America have descended on an exhibition hall, bringing with them their machines and their ideas. They're here to learn at some 400 lectures, but mainly these 24-hour campus party people are here to share their knowledge and feed off each other's enthusiasm. People I've never heard about, people I talked only through MSN or Skype or online, I can uh, actually talk to them, exchange ideas, maybe start a project like I did last time. I study electronic engineering, so I'm here with my friends from college to actually enjoy the whole event and learn something. You learn everything about development games and social media, you know, it's very, very awesome. For some, it's all just too much. So, when everything's plugged in and booted up, this is what thousands of people and their computers look like. And if you think this hall is massive, well, the one next door is even bigger. The bedroom, if you will. Cramped conditions don't seem to bother anyone. Although, after a week of hacking and sleeping together, this place can get a little... <clears throat> pungent. It's like Las Vegas for geeks. There are no windows and very little sense of whether it's day or night. This graph of network traffic says it all. 3am isn't bedtime, it's peak time. So look at the place. So many people, so much stuff going on. I mean, how do you possibly work out what the gossip is? What's the buzz? Who's working with who? Well, you do what everyone else says. That is, you join up with your good friends, Mr Laptop and Mrs Twitter... And uh, let's see what we can rustle up here. So, Sere que argem gosteria de joga uma partida de Call of Duty comigo. And send. Yeah. yeah. Oh. This is the beating heart of the operation, where 10 gigabits per second is pumping into the room. That's about a thousand times quicker than a decent home broadband link. The Campuseros are working these fibres hard, giving the network provider the chance to test drive the latest techniques for maxing out these jumbo connections. We can provide here some experience to the campus users that they don't have in, in their real life. There are some brains here working hard to uh, develop something new. It means that would you like to see here in a few years some guys that will provoke a very huge revolution in the web? Over on the main stage, a self-proclaimed revolutionary, former US Vice President Al Gore, is just as much a champion of the web as he is of tackling climate change. Truly starting with the World Wide Web, this new ability for individuals to connect to one another digitally and to explore a universe of knowledge at their own pace according to their own curiosity and to connect to others who had common interests has reawakened the possibility that we can bring democracy to vivid life. And the man whose bright idea allowed us all to connect online has jetted in to survey the proceedings for himself. I've learned that the most exciting thing about all this technology is that people do with it things that you could never have imagined. With so many people guzzling power and Brazilian thunderstorms raging overhead, it's no wonder that when the rain got in, the electricity couldn't quite hold out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Have you got a ca has the camera got a battery? But, of course, a, a mere okay. power glitch is never going to silence the inventor of the web. All right, power cut, no, notwithstanding, what are we talking about? I mean, look at the spirit out there. Uh, I'm sure quite a lot of those use social networking sites, but they're all coding away, doing all kinds of things. So, no, I think the spirit of coding stuff up and making new and thinking of completely different ways of doing things uh, is, very, is certainly alive and well. Thanks to computing on battery power, the party keeps going. And here in South America, they know all about collaborative coding. The open source movement is huge here. As glossy as anything from the big games companies, these titles are open source and they're free. The same applies to the Linux operating system. It's especially widely used in Brazil, so when one of its founding fathers pays a visit, no wonder he's mobbed like a rock star. We do a lot of work over the internet, but my observation has been that when people get together in a room and can point and you know talk to each other and 
share food and share ideas, that they do it at a much more rapid pace. And also, arguments that may have gone for months over the internet are quashed in a matter of minutes. Now, don't go thinking it's all about coding. Camper Zeros like getting their hands dirty too. A pimped-up PC is essential. This one's super cooled and encrusted with LEDs. Very bling. In fact, you can do spreadsheets on it as well, apparently. Elsewhere at the party, things are getting seriously innovative. After 30 years of computing in two dimensions, I'm getting the hang of doing it in 3D. Hey, people, I'm on TV. Well, on a webcam, on a normal tablet PC normal webcam on the back of it. A normal table down here with my BBC pass. Now, using the tablet, I'm about to do something just a little bit cool with this stylus. It's gone. Airbrushed out in real time on this tablet. Fantastic. For the time being, it's just a student project. But one day, this software could be removing brand logos on live TV. So you may just see it in action, uh, or not. And with this experimental hardware, you can channel your inner geek. Just twist the dial to select a bit of Steve Jobs or Bill Gates, and you're away. And this is definitely one of a kind. The simulator's been created by two brothers in their spare time. Software and player are strapped together on a rotating gimbal. It's not as easy as it looks. I'm stalling. I don't think I'm stalling, I think I'm dying. Those of you at the back, I apologise, you may have spilt your tea and coffee by now. There's no shortage of energy in here, whether the power's on or off. And these are certainly a creative bunch. In fact, they've uploaded more code, photos, video and blogs this week than they've downloaded. The party might be over for another year, but it's left the net a slightly bigger and brighter place than it was before. <laughs>